Welcome to the show, guys. We are talking about Alvin Kamara's Fantasy Football Impact as part of the Fantasy Football Impact series that I've created, breaking down every individual player and whether or not you should draft him for Fantasy Football 2022. Big episode here, honing in, focused on Alvin Kamara, who's currently sitting top 10 on the consensus rankings. So a lot of people will be drafting him. Should you? That's the big question. I'm going to answer that with a deep dive here today. This show is brought to you by Pristine Auction. Amazing giveaways. Draws are ongoing. Head on over to pristineauction.com. Use code SWAGLION to enter, guys. Look at this beautiful Javante Williams signed helmet right here. I've also got a Devontae Smith jersey signed. Beautiful. I think he's going to break out this year. Najee Harris signed jersey. And the draws are ongoing. So all you got to do, guys, to enter, pristineauction.com, code SWAGLINE, create an account. You also get $10 off auction, so you could dive in there and bid on what you want. You get $10 off that. It's pretty amazing. Pristineauction.com, SWAGLINE, you're automatically entered for these amazing draws that are ongoing. And I announced the winners on my Insta at Fantasy Football Counselor. Go do that right now. Go create an account using code SWAGLINE. Secondly, guys, head on over to manscaped.com. Use code SHOWERLION20. Save yourself 20% on some amazing products. The fit and finish is amazing. I stay groomed. I stay fresh. Head on over there right now, manscaped.com. Shower Lion 20 is the code you want to use to save yourself 20%. Try their body wash shampoo. You'll be very happy. All right, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe and get the 16-round draft solution to crush your leagues. Those are my plugs, guys, but every time I plug something, it's about giving you guys value. Manscaped.com, Shower Lion 20. Use that code. You're going to get a product that's actually going to work for you. Go to pristineauction.com. Use code SWAGLION. Swag line, and you're going to get products entered to win amazing free swag. So there's a ton of stuff, guys, and everything I offer, I offer value, okay? So let's dive into Alvin Kamara right now. Now, the big question is, should you draft Alvin Kamara going into 2022? Quick answer to that. I'll answer that at the end. But I want to deep dive in regards to what I think about Alvin Kamara for Fantasy Football 2022. Now, I am recording this relatively early in the offseason. We're recording this in March, so things may change. But I feel that... I've seen enough Alvin Kamara to know what to expect and what to not expect, right? So here's the thing that turned me off. I'm going to read the news headline here going back to February, right? New Orleans Saints running back Alvin Kamara was arrested in Las Vegas following the Pro Bowl. Las Vegas Police Department are charging Alvin Kamara with battery resulting in substantial body harm. The incident reportedly occurred at a nightclub on February 5th, which was the day before Alvin Kamara participated in the Pro Bowl. So he was arrested... I believe he was charged. I just saw a recent post a few days ago, March 2nd, at the time of this, the, the recording is March 4th, a couple days ago on his Instagram. He has me blocked, so I had to check from another account because I want to check the news. Not that I'm creeping him out, but I just wanted to check, so I had to use um, another account to check. But Alvin Kamara had me blocked. I've never said anything bad about him. I may have said something along the line before that he sucks, maybe something, maybe he had a bad game or something. But at the end of the day, Here's the thing. I don't like the fact that he's been arrested, and this is not something I expect out of Alvin Kamara. Maybe out of another player, but not Alvin Kamara. I did not expect this out of him. I was shocked when I read the headline, and that shows to me, like, where's your head at? Where's your head at? You are a professional athlete, one of the top running backs in the game, physically gifted and talented. Why are you out there, you know, fighting people at a bar, or nightclub, whatever happened? Now, maybe something was said to him that was probably, you know, a cause for him to, to do something, but... You gotta understand you're in the NFL, you know, you've got a reputation to protect. You just can't be, be doing that. So we're talking the whole scope, and you gotta analyze off-field and off-season issues because that's really going to potentially impact him for reality. Because this is a guy you want to invest on your fantasy team. You are a shareholder of that player. So what they do off-field matters. So I had to address this, and it's something that really genuinely bothered me about Alvin Kamara. I didn't expect it out of him, uh, you know, out of all people being the top athlete that he is, and you know, the work ethic really looked like second none. We've seen his training videos in the past. Looked amazing. So um, so that that's something I want to you know put in the back of your head when you're considering drafting him. I, I definitely am. He's going into his sixth season. And if you look at his target count from 2017 to 2020, solid targets. The lowest amount of targets he had through 2017 to 2020 was 97 targets. There was a significant drop-off in 2021. We had a full year without Drew Brees, no Drew Brees in the picture, disaster at quarterback, and we saw his numbers decline. Now, his rushing attempts did actually go up to 240. He didn't really do much with them, which, you know, 3.7 yards per carry on average and four rushing touchdowns. Not impressive at all. Only 891 rushing yards. So he's not a pure rusher. He's not your Nick Chubb. He's not going to get you, you know, Derek Henry. He's not going to get you those rushing yards. So he makes that up with the receptions, which, he, again, he went down. 
in receptions uh, with 47 receptions, 67 targets. 47 receptions is about almost, you know, just about half of what he had in 2020 with 83 receptions. He's an 80 reception type of guy. You know, 81 receptions 2017, 81 receptions 2018, 81 receptions in 2019, and 83 receptions in 2020. And then 2021, we have the significant decline. So that's something to definitely be concerned about. Last year's numbers, game to game, not impressive. He had a couple games where he was absolute dud, including week 15, week 16, week t- week two, he crapped the bed, and the other games were pretty good, pretty average. So overall, he had himself a good season last year, not to Alvin Kamara standards by any sense of the word. And when I look at a running back, I want to make sure that I'm consistent. He wasn't that last year. Mind you, he finished eighth amongst running backs, which isn't bad. What carried him is those attempts And again, uh, he had the five receiving touchdowns, which wasn't bad. So when you are looking at Alvin Kamara, he's going to be sitting around 10th amongst running backs. So the big question is, do you draft him? He's probably going to be a second-round pick for you guys if you want to consider him. And it depends on who your RB1 is. And the thing about it is, again, it really turns me off, is the fact that Drew Brees is not there, the guy that fed him the ball a lot. Uh, When you're looking at the quarterbacks, they had Jameis Winston, who got hurt, who's probably coming back. They got uh, Taysom Hill who, again, is a guy that's going to hoard away those rushing touchdowns. We saw it last year. Taysom Hill had, what do you have? Five rushing touchdowns that could have gone to Alvin Kamara. So Taysom Hill is there. They have Trevor Simeon. Ian Book was there. It's a bit of a disaster there at, at, at quarterback, okay? So I don't know if I trust Jameis Winston as a guy that will feed Kamara consistently. Maybe he will. You know, I, I don't know. But at the end of the day here, is, it, here's the deal. Because the, the quarterback situation, I don't trust. It's all over the place. Especially with Taysom Hill stealing away those rushing touchdowns. And then you got Michael Thomas, possibly. I think he's coming back. I haven't looked at the exact situation. Uh, but Michael Thomas could be back, coming back stronger than ever. I'm just going to pull up here Michael Thomas news as we're talking. You know, I haven't looked at his news at all. Um, let's see if there's anything here that's trending. Uh, apparently he's supposed to be, uh, Saints GM saying Michael Thomas back and healthy. Um, he's supposed to be back. So that's going to get a lot of, you know, you know, it could open things up for Alvin Kamara. It could in fact also deter some of those receptions as well. Cause more receptions are going to go Michael Thomas's way. You know, here's the deal. Six season. I saw a decline. And if you ask me if I'm going to be drafting him, I am turned off about the off-field issue. And again, I saw his Instagram. He's back. He's modeling. So I'm assuming the lawyers took care of whatever issue Alvin Kamara is dealing with. But I have a problem with that. You know, I I don't know what it is. I really do. I like the guys that are, you know, clear-minded, clear-headed. You're, you're clean-cut guys. Derrick Henry, Najee Harris, Jonathan Taylor, guys that are on the field producing on a high level. Still, you know, Derrick Henry, you know, he's a, more of a veteran now. But young dynamic Javante Williams excites me more than Alvin Kamara right so for me he's not the guy I'm going to be looking at and again I like a guy that gets it done all around tons of volume doesn't have to rely on a pure rusher that runs with him you know whereas Alvin Kamara is not a pure rusher he's he's just not he's more of a receiving scat kind of back with upside because he had those receptions which we saw decline last year so here's the verdict for me I don't know what you guys want to do here's what I'm going to do I'm just going to fade him this year I'm just going to fade him there's just too many question marks. Too many questions at quarterback. Too many question marks with the off-field issue now. And that's in play. Too many question marks with Michael Thomas coming back. How that's going to be, right? How that's going to integrate in the situation. Is it going to help him? Is it going to, it's not going to help him, right? When I when I look at other guys, I look at, let's say, Javante Williams, let's say without Melvin Gordon there. Melvin Gordon's still there at the time of this recording. Hopefully he gets shipped off. I look at Najee Harris. I look at John Taylor. I look at Derek Henry. There's only a handful of those guys. I like those type of running backs or running backs that could be that type of running back. So I would draft essentially a rookie that could be that, or or a sleeper like Michael Carter who could be that that workhorse running back that doesn't have to rely on a Mark Ingram to make him complete, right, or to, to fill things out. So for me, the verdict is this. I'm going to be fading Alvin Kamara. I went over the stats with you. We saw the regression and all the points pointing to a total fade for Alvin Kamara for me. And I could be wrong. Come out, He can come out and be the Alvin Kamara from three years ago. But there is no breeze there and just way too many question marks for me. I am fading Alvin Kamara. And that's Alvin Kamara's fantasy football outlook for me, guys. That's that's straight up, okay? All right, if you guys want all the sleepers, all the breakouts, everything, guys, get the 16-round draft solution. I have linked it below, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this number one fantasy football podcast. And, of course, guys, leave a comment below. Are you drafting Alvin Kamara? If you're watching on YouTube, are you drafting him this season based on what I said? 
Love to get your feedback, guys. Subscribe, thumbs up. And Fantasy Football 2022 will be here before we know it. I'm out.